Ever since I understood how photo resistor work and how to connect it to my audio note to control it pins, which I've showed you in my previous video, I've been thinking of what project to build with it. And I came up with many among which I gave a trial and it worked as expected. Door counter. A door counter is a device that records the number of people that pass through a given door. It is normally used in places like retail store, banking hall, hotels, casino, airport, and many others. To track customers' traffic in their physical environment. I made this prototype to show you how it works. Let my finger present a person passing through the door. Just see. But if you notice the number increment for people coming and going out, to know the number of people that visit the space, if the entry and exit door is the same, you can only get that if the space is empty. Like closing time, then you divide the present number by 2. In this case, 40 divided by 2, which gives us 20. But if the space have entry and exit do, no need to do that because the device will be fixed to only the entry do. That means it will only count the number of people coming in. Let me show you how I build this. The connection is simple. It's just a voltage divider, but the output resistor is a photoresistor. More about this in my previous video. I divide the code into three for better understanding. The first part performs the sensing operation. If the voltage divider output is greater than 70, pin 8 becomes high. And if it is less than 70, pin 8 becomes low. The second part performs the counting operation. Anytime pin 7 change its state from low to high, the number increment by 1. The debounce function keeps track of the current state of the pin. After combining the two cords, adding some cords that would display the result on a serial monitor, and connecting pin 7 and 8 with the jumper wire. You can now see how the number increment if I wave my hand from left to right and right to left on top of the photoresistor. The last part of this code displayed the result on LCD. To do that, I first connect the LCD to the existing circuit by connecting VCC to 5 volt, ground to ground, SDA to A4, and SCL to A5. I then add the cuts to the existing one. To know how to work with LCD, that should be a video on its own. After uploading, I gave it a trial. But there was problem fixing this project to a do. Because any light intensity changes at the surface of the photoresistor can affect the counting operation. To fix that, I put the photoresistor in a black vacuum so that the only light coming from the other side of the door can reach the surface of the photoresistor. This is how it works. As this light hit the surface of the photoresistor, the voltage divider output value would be less than 70. Therefore, pin 8 will be low. But if someone passing through the door reaches this point, he or she will block the light intensity from reaching the surface of the photoresistor, which makes it to be in darkness. This time the output will be greater than 70, and pin 8 will be high. So also 7, because they are connected. I explained this earlier, that if pin 7 change its state from low to high, the number will increment by 1. And that's what just happened.
if you like this video don't forget to click on the like button share subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell be creative i hope to see you in my next video